twirl filter. You can find the twirl filter here on the filters, distortion, twirl. So the twirl filter twirls your layer, that's it. Also remember that once you applied, the length of the effect will be the same length of the layer itself. The twirl filter contains a few parameters that we can adjust. We have the amount up to publish OSC. Amount is the total amount of twirl applied on your layer. 0.5 is the default. Then at zero, of course, there's no twirl at all. Then one is like this. Next is the twirl parameter. Currently, it is set at 180. So it is like this. And then you can max the twirl filter up to negative 720 degree. Then we have the center, X and Y. So this is the position of the twirl filter. Also crop. Let's change the scale of our layer. Then let's go to twirl. If you turn on crop, it will cut off the out of bounds layer. But if it's unchecked, the bounding box of the layer will not hinder the twirl effect itself. Next is the percentage between the blending of the original and the effect. Publish OSC. Checking this will make this controller available in Final Cut Pro. If you apply the twirl filter, on a group and then check fixed resolution, your third filter will fully distort your layer, similar to what we have here. That's the third filter in Apple Motion.